Hi, this is Julie from Buster's Corner on the other side of the camera this time. I uh, just want to let you know this uh, year on Buster's Corner we're going to be doing some camping reviews. Our first one is going to be Brandon Island where we're heading out to today. We got our new travel trailer. Uh, it's used but new to us. It's a 2004 Fleetwood. Uh, so uh, we had to do a few repairs on it but uh, it's working good. We're taking it out for the first time today. Buster, Buster, look, look, Buster, look, Buster, we're here. I know you're excited. So this is site 104. Um, not real deep, but each site comes with a picnic table. This is the RV sites. They come with a picnic table. You get a fire pit. Oh, look at Buster. And over here you have your electrical box, which is, and there's your water. The electrical here is both uh, 35 and, you got your 35 and 50, and you got a 110. Okay. There's a lake out there. That's us over there. We're in 114. So you got room here. You can put a tent out here, but I got we got to find out if you can bring your RV and a tent too. So I don't know if you can double these up or not. Going back this way. This is a little cul-de-sac here. So when you come down the road on this one, you turn onto the day camping, and then that's how you find the RV camping. Uh, otherwise, you'll drive past it and you have to make a U-turn and come back. But if you miss it, you'll wind it down the boat ramp. Okay, so this is the RV area. This is Olympic, what they call it. And uh, what do you got? One, two, three, four, maybe five, ten. And Fourteen, actually, actually goes to number 115, so there's 15 of them here. Oh, this is 104. Oh, 103. All right, so there's about a dozen campsites here. But like I say, the problem with Brand Island is it gets windy. Okay, we're going to show you some more. There, the wind died down enough to get the awning up and uh, get everything put together the way it should look. And that's what she looks like. And as I film this, the wind picks up. What are you writing? Oh, I'm just doing a, starting a little journal, journal of all our travels with the trailer. So, I'm just writing a little blib on a Brandon Island RV, this Olympia site. So. Brother Dave and Brother Bill coming to visit us uh, on our first day out. So we'll see how it goes. I have a little journal document all our travels. Making breakfast. The first breakfast in the RV. Loving the microwave. Coffee gets cold. I know it's that's not real camping, is it? It's RV camping. Some yeah, it's RV living. All right. Slept good last night. The bed was very comfortable. Uh, I think we got up once in the middle of the night to use the restroom, and that was about it. Just once. We, uh, we made the, the table into a, a like a sofa bed and sat there and watched uh, watched TV. Made our little TV. I know it's too small. Size matters. And actually, it's not a very good TV. You can't see it from the side. So that's got to go back. But um, that worked good. 
There's, there's Buster down there. Buster, buddy, say hello. Buster's corner. All right, so we'll take some uh, video of the uh, park later. Bye. See you later. Good morning. We're out here at Brandon Island, taking Buster for a walk. Cold this morning, windy. It was real windy last night too, moving the trailer all around. So that's the problem, that's the issue you got with Brandon Island. <clears throat> if it's not windy, then it gets hotter than heck up here. Um, but, uh, and it's pretty. It's a nice little outing. But uh, the trailer got to rocking last night, it was so dang windy up here. But we slept through it, it was not, not catastrophic. But uh, this morning it's windy. I can't do the outside barbecue at all because it's too windy. You can't put the awning up because it's too windy. But uh, you know, you can see behind me, you see the clouds up there? Yeah, I did, wasn't expecting that. Come on this way, you can see back here behind us. Yeah. Clouds, gray skies. Cottonwood Campground, sites 51 to 102. This is mostly tent camping and some RVs. Some RVs out here. I don't think they got hookups though. I think I've got two generators in the back of the Morning. Is this what you call dry camping? Or it's like bathrooms and showers over there. They should have water spigots. You know what? I don't see water spigots. I see water, but I don't see where you can hook a water hose. Nice big camping area. So that's handicapped. These guys here, they're gonna be here all week. That's, so it's cheaper over here. Yeah. We got a toy hauler over here. A nice long trailer you can put in there. Nice open areas for kids to play. Bring the dogs. Buster, what you crying? We'll have to find out what the limit is on the campsites, how many people, how many cars. This one looks like they have four or five cars. Quite a few people. Five cars. They got five cars on that one. Yeah. More bathrooms and showers. Dumpsters, recycle bins. Actually looks pretty nice out here. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Yeah. I'll give them that. Get this spot over here behind the trees, you might cut down some of the wind. Oh yeah, right here in the corner would be good. Yeah, right here would be good. So here we just uh, pulled into one of the empty campsites uh, for now, just to take a look around. This one's along the bank of the Delta. Here comes Bob and Buster. Uh, this one is a handicapped site, but this one has no access down to the Delta where you can fish from your campsite. But I think some of them do. There's a whole bunch along the bank here. Uh, you just pick the right one. Of course, you can't tell on the maps which ones have brush and which ones don't. But uh, campground's nice and open. Lots of room for kids and dogs and frisbee and whatever else you want to do. But uh, overall, so far, I like it. And there's Bob. He's videoing over there. That's Julie shooting video in the background. There's Bob, he's videoing over there. <laughs> she just the cutest little thing you ever did, Sai. This is what they call the beach area. There's also day camping, or excuse me, picnicking out here. A lot of tables, a lot of trees. Um, this is, they have life vests as you can see, and this is supposed to be the beach area. Uh, but this is not my idea of a beach area. Here's a couple of spots where you can get in. Bob and Buster. Uh, this part of the park, I think, needs to be maintained just a little bit more. Not as nice as the campgrounds. A little overgrown. 
Um, needs a little bit more work. But if you're camping, you know, you got your own space, so it's all good. up camp right here going to take off it's uh, Monday morning uh, the wind had finally died down a little bit but it's still a little, a little chilly up here but that's the Delta breeze um, so on the hot summer days August uh, the, the breeze is really great but we're here what are we mid May yes. 21st May 21st today May 21st anniversary yes two years mm -hmm. okay so likes and dislikes what do we got um, one of the things we realize when we book a location is we want to probably take a better look at east and west. Uh, we set up facing the west, so we had the evening sun beating down on us all the time, and it was too windy to put the awning up, so not very good. We want to point the door east? We want to point the door east, yeah. Point the door east. So we have the shade from the trailer, and the wind doesn't affect the awning. So In the evening, yeah. right. Okay. Uh, so the fishing up here, um, you saw I didn't catch a fish. The fishing situation, was not good for me. Um, there wasn't a good bank area to go. Not a lot of fishing spots, yeah. We had the two down at the pier and we found one hole over here uh, late campground. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. But you can't just walk over, I mean, you got all this water around the island, you can't just walk over and, and, and boom. Line, yeah. yeah, and start doing that stuff. Um, fish cleaning station, so I caught that fish yesterday. Mm -hmm. There's no place to clean the fish. That we could find. Right. So, yeah. I don't think it's here. We went down to the docks where the boats come in, and um, there was a sink. The sink said, do not... Don't clean your fish and... Put, don't put your guts into the sink. Anyway, and don't clean your fish in the sink. And don't clean your fish. Yeah, so you could, it wasn't a cleaning station at all. Uh, recycling bins? I didn't see any. Did you see some at the other? I did see a couple of small bins for cans, but I think it was in the tent campground. Um, near their dumpsters, but that was it. Nothing you know, here on the RV park side. Just the one big dumpster. Yeah, or it could have been even in the day use side. I'm not sure. I've seen a, a bin somewhere, but I don't remember where it was. They're not scattered throughout the park. So. Okay. Um, let's see, other than that, bus ride a great time. He did a lot of walking. Uh, we did a lot of walking. Uh, the yeah. bikes worked uh, good up here. Uh, a lot of paved areas. Yes, and there's a nice three mile uh, bike path. Oh, yeah. So that's good if you like to bike. But yeah, so you can either walk that or bike that. And yeah, that's a good little three mile trail. Yeah. It goes all throughout the park. Yeah. And if, we found the one area, go ahead. I was just gonna say, if you do bring your dogs, um, as summer gets on and it gets hotter and drier up here, there are a lot of foxtails. So oh, just yeah. make sure you check your dogs for the foxtails. Yeah, and they mowed the grass before we got up here. But, um, so it wasn't really too bad for us right now. But like Julie's saying, if you get out off the, the public area, you get a lot of foxtails. You have issues there. Um, what else? The bathrooms I thought were clean, the ones I did see. Yeah, bathrooms, lots of bathrooms and showers in all the campground areas and the day use areas. Well, not showers in the day use areas, but the uh, we only went in, to, we didn't film inside the shower area. I didn't film inside the showers. We didn't go inside the shower area, no, I should but have done the restrooms were clean. From what I see. For the most part, yeah. Yeah, I just saw ones down the boat dock, but but they were they were they were, they were, they were decent. Um, yeah, and everything seems to be well maintained here. Um, campground hosts and every site uh, you see oh, yeah, quite yeah, a bit. Oh yeah, that's so. right. You got the people with little fence around their RV. Uh, they're, they're living there, so they're mm -hmm. the managers of that area. So which is good. If you have issues and people carrying on and, and doing stupid stuff in the middle of the night, they're there to take care of that. Yeah. Um, if the generators are going too long, they're there to take care of that. Um, she did run over as soon as we pulled up. I didn't know who she was. As soon as we pulled up, she was like, okay, you got to back up like this. Parking and police. 
the yeah, parking police. I thought she was. I thought she was a, no, a, a Snoopy neighbor. You got to put your wheels up against the curb and then park your truck over an overflow parking. And I'm like, I don't think so. I think I can park my trailer right here and park next to my RV with the pickup truck. What's everybody else is doing? That's what we did. But um, I'm sure they're nice folks. We didn't get, we didn't talk to them too much. Yeah. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, as far as the trailer goes, everything was great. Everything worked well. Um, of course, we used everything there is to use in here for being our first time out and had no issues. So. Yeah, because being, being so cold and windy outside, we really couldn't we, camp outside. Yeah, we spent more time in here than we thought we would. Yeah. Because it was so windy and cold outside. Right. But, but it all worked out great, so. Yeah. Uh, Brennan Island, for me, um, not so good for me. This is more of a, if you have a boat, uh, and you and you get the boat launched and you go fishing that way. If you're fishing, if you're here to fish, nah, this ain't your fishing hole, uh, unless you got a boat. If you're just uh, dry camping, though, I thought there were really nice areas over there mm -hmm. where those guys were. Yeah, the Willow Campground and Cottonwood Campgrounds are real nice tent campgrounds. For tent campgrounds. Uh, no swimming. Great for bringing your dogs. Uh, not for, uh, as far as if kids want to go swimming, there's no place to swim. There is a little swimming beach, they call it, but it's really not much of a beach. It's not a beach. It's a mud hole over there. You're, yeah. yeah. No, it's not a beach. But then kids don't care where they're kids swimming as long as they're getting wet and it's right. hot. So, um you know, everybody's different. Okay. So. so not a fishy place for me. I think a good camping place. I think it's uh, uh, in the summer months when you have the Delta Breeze to bring the temperature down. It's going to be great right about yeah. there. If you want to test out your new camping equipment, this would be a great place yeah. to come. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, you good? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Say bye to Buster. Bye, Buster. Yeah. Buster's loving it here. Say goodbye, dear. Bye, dear. Dump station. Take one. <laughs> take one. <laughs> take two. All right, take two.